What's good, YouTube? This your man Spill Dog. Yo, man, uh, they still they still talking about this stuff with Ryan Garcia, and now they want to know how much Oscar and what how much advantage they actually would have gave him. Either it's illegal or it ain't simple as that, man. They need to leave us alone. And uh, and then from where I'm sitting at, you know, Devin Haney did lose his championships. Uh, you know, from the time Ryan came in on the scale of three pounds overweight, uh. That was the end of that. You know, they took the extra money. They had to fight. They kept their championships. They lost the fight. They did lose the championship. It's time, in my opinion, to go ahead and move on forward. Let the, let the uh, people in charge, they're going to do what they're going to do with Ryan. But they ever need to get focused on what's coming up ahead because Ryan Garcia is not the problem. His problem is going to be Antoine Russell. That's where Devin better get his mind at and, and, start, and start thinking about what's coming up in the future, not the stuff that you can't change that happened in the past. Uh, Antoine Russell is going to be some serious competition, real talk. Uh, uh, if, as long as everything go right with him next weekend and this fight, you know, uh, I think I think Devin got one mandatory before he fights. Uh, I, think he got, I think he got Sandor Martin or something like that as a mandatory. I'm not exactly sure, but I feel like after the, the fight he had with Ryan Garcia, I think he earned the right to take an easier fight on his first fight coming back. I think, you know, it's up to him, but I think it would be smart for him and Bill if they took a, a tune-up level uh, fight in his first fight coming back because I think after that they're going to have to come, they're going to have to see Antoine Russell. Uh, I think all of them dudes that's up there going to have to see him, but I think the way the rankings is set up, Devin is going to be the first one to have to do it. With, with the way he liked to blow up after he uh, come in on the scales, we might as well get a tank, a, a Javante Davis, Devin Haney fight out of our head. That ain't happening no time soon. Uh, uh, tank people not going to let him go in there, and no matter what the weight is in the way in and fight Devin, and he 25 pounds heavier after the way in, they not going to do that. So we can just forget it. That's a waste of time talking about that fight right there. I'm going to stay with the realistic fights. Uh, we got a good fight with Tank and, and uh, Frank Martin next weekend uh, at 135. But the 140-pound division is full, of, is full of heat. And I really believe, I think, now Pitbull, that's why maybe maybe that's why Devin and Sid was talking about Pitbull. That would be, I think for Devin, Pitbull is an easy fight. I hate to say it. You know, styles make fights. Regards to what happened with uh, Ryan and Tank and Devin and uh, Ryan, Pitbull is a guy that's short. He can punch good, but he don't have that. He ain't got no crazy power, and he don't have a jab. There's no chance for that dude in there with Devin Haney, and he's shorter, smaller, without a jab. He's not going to be able to just jump in there. Devin is too good of a fighter. Ryan Garcia has speed and height to get them hooks off. You got to remember. Uh, Ryan Garcia is, I think, is taller than Devin, and they reach is damn near identical. They're the same age. Uh, Pitbull can't do what is not, I think, is not as good as Ryan, and he don't have the speed nor the height and length that Ryan has, so that he don't have a chance, in my opinion, in that with Devin. Hey, I feel like that's an easy 12-round uh Boxing match for uh, Devin, solid competition. I feel like it'll just be good work, and I think that's not a bad idea. Th and pick up another belt, and at the same time, that's good. That's 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 good. Just as good work for uh, Devin. I won't say easy work, but it'd be good work. But ain't no way that dude right there will uh, beat Devin Haney. I'm sorry, I, you know, Ryan Garcia is not a garbage fighter. The boy can fight. Uh, I see. Devin's problem is the fight after Pitbull, if you take Pitbull next. Uh, the dude, Sandor Martin, he ain't, he ain't garbage, but I'm not sure that he can beat Devin Haney. You know, uh, but I think Antoine Russell, I think he would be the one to go in there and do it. I think because he got the mentality, you know, he got the power. And he got the, the skills. You know, Antoine Russell is, a, is, is you know, he's just like his brother. His brother was a damn good fighter. Uh, and I feel like, to me, that's Devin's biggest threat right now up there at 140 pounds. Not Teofimo Lopez, not Matias. I think Antoine Russell is going to make some noise up there. Real talk. Uh, I was hoping 
now that I see Devin blowing up the uh, 165, you know, I feel like he should be at welterweight, but I understand why he not. He don't have the power to deal with nobody like Boots and Virgil Ortiz up there, uh, them, these big big guys that just as big and long as him that will have some advantages where Devin's speed would have to be at advantage but 140. And it's not so much that he can't take power. He ain't the greatest when he get hit hard either. Now, at 147, he might be stronger. He, he, he get to eat more. You know, it, it might even be a better better division for him in the future. But right now, while he at 140, unless he just go blatantly outright uh, duck Antoine Russell, I don't see him being able to go no more to another fight before he got to see that. If Antoine Russell win his next fight, I think Devin can't go no farther than one more fight. And then he going to have to see that. He's going to have to see that, man. And that's going to be... That's that's his fight right there. That's his fight right there. You know, uh, you know. Once again, once Ryan miss weight, that fight don't really count. You know whether they get it knocked off his uh off his record or not. The bottom line, he didn't lose the belts and dude, you know. So he, he it's big fights for Devin. Uh, still, you know, as long if he can push, you know, move on from that from that. That little speed bump, it ain't that. You lost the fight to a good fighter. That fat, that's fast, that hit hard, and that you took money from and fought after he missed weight. That's another reason why I feel like I don't want to hit a weight issue because you got paid seven figures for it. You didn't have to take the money. You could tell him, keep your money, and either y'all send me in a quick replacement or I have to uh, apologize to the fans. But once you take uh, that kind of money, and agree to fight, and then said, Devin been saying from the time that training camp started that Ryan wasn't going to make weight. So ain't no sense in acting brand new because he lost the fight, acting like them three pounds mean so much now because you knew the whole time you was getting ready this was going to happen and you wasn't worried about it then. Uh, so like I said, I mean, you know, I don't, I don't care about the, what happened with the PED situation. I really don't. Now, I don't like nobody to be in that cheat. Or nothing like that, but that, that's not, I'm a fan, I don't, I, I ain't got nothing to do with that, to be honest with you, that's why I never took that stance, and, I, and I'm still not taking it, when they was, when, you know, I think that dude, Victor Connie, is crooked as the letter S, I've said that before, but it is what it is, and I never used that as to say, okay, now I see why Terrence beat uh, Earl, the, the steroid dude, I ain't never did that, so I, I didn't do it, for Earl, I'm not gonna do it. For uh, Devin, uh, I feel this more. I strongly feel like all Devin had to do was not do what he do every fight: is get late, lack of days ago, and lazy on his defense. And you know what? I'm gonna find the video because I made a video about that probably a year ago, and I made one about that before this fight uh, came in. Every fight I've saw Devin in with a good fighter. Between seven, between seven, round seven and about 10 or 11, he falls asleep on defense and get clipped. I have seen it happen over and over again. It's just that these guys didn't have what, they didn't have the speed, the reach, and the power that Ryan had when he got clipped. When he caught him in the first round, which don't necessarily, that wasn't enough to me for Ryan to win that round. Devin clearly won that round. All the way up to the to the uh from round one to six, Devin won. He once he got caught again, he got caught real good in the seventh round, and after that, it, it was like he was trying to prove something, you know. Uh, and you know, he his his job should have been to be on his bike after it happened in the first round. Really, he should have got on his bike and and boxed him around the ring the entire night. That's what everybody expected him to do. But for some reason, he felt the need to stand in front of uh, Garcia and try to punch with him at times. And that, from you know, that's part of why that wasn't crazy about Devin. That ain't never been him. He's always been a guy that want to that move around the ring and work behind a jab uh, and uh, and use the entire ring. And, you know, uh, I don't like I said, I don't know if he was, uh, if he had, was just dead set on knocking knocking Ryan out or trying to get the knockdown back, but he 
he clearly wasn't fighting his fight. You can't blame that on no, on no steroids. You know, uh, you can't blame him not putting his hands up on those steroids. After he got hit good in the first round, he knew he needed to have his hands up. And definitely after he got caught again in the seventh, uh, that that's that's bad habits in the gym. You know, that's easily correctable. But that's what that was. And this is why I don't I didn't never go too far into this thing with that because I'm watching him fight and I'm looking at he making he maybe he was making the mistakes over and over again, you know, uh, and kept keeping that hand low, and Ryan got real speed and real power. I mean, you know, uh, he, he he fell right to his trap, you know, uh, and so I don't think, you know, that's that was my that's my that's my issue with that's why, like I said, whatever happened with that, that's between him and the boxing authorities. You need to be getting that defense <clears throat> all the way a one, because Antoine Russell is coming. He coming and the boy coming to make some noise. He, I know, I feel like he been overlooked to some degree. Uh, he not getting the respect he deserved uh, so far. Is he, he getting? You know, he getting it from loyal boxing fans. But overall, you know, people ain't ain't, ain't giving him no respect. Ain't nobody saying his name. You know, so he and he come from a name. He finna make some noise and he right there in line now. If he win this fight next week. I think I, I'm almost certain he's the mandatory to fight Devin, and like I, that's why I say I think it would only be right for them to let Devin have a, a, a tune-up level fight first when he first come back, and then I don't, that's why I say I don't see no more than within the next year, year and a half. I think he's gonna be seeing Antoine Russell. I think Devin will be the first one out of the dudes up there to see Antoine Russell, and I feel like that's his problem. I, Whatever happened with Ryan, that's a done deal. From the time Ryan missed weight, that was a done deal. You can't lose your championships. Whatever happened in y'all little personal grudge, it, it, in the in the in the big scheme of things, it ain't a big deal. It's not gonna matter all that much. People ain't even gonna remember this fight if y'all let it to, let uh, go and finally let it go. You need to be getting ready for the boy Antoine Russell, cause Antoine Russell put me in the mind of Terrence Crawford with Earl Spence. Focusing on a dude for that he uh, now that he gonna see somewhere down the line, you know, you, you know, uh, I think that's where Bud has advantage to me over Spence is that I think Bud was preparing for Spence what years before they fought, knowing that was gonna be a fight that he was gonna have that he was gonna want to have to get to to get to the point where you want to get to, and I'm thinking the same way for Antoine Russell. It seemed to me like. Whatever division Devin been going to, that's where he fight. I, I, I see him there, uh, and I really believe that's the one, that go. That's Devin's problem right there. Antoine Russell. Uh, now that ain't to say that Devin can't win that fight, but I would be riding with Antoine Russell in that fight. I'm thinking if they fought, Antoine Russell would have to knock Devin out to win because I think Devin would be Devin gonna box, and you ain't whitewashing Devin. You know Devin was doing his thing against Ryan until he got clipped. So the boy can fight. You know, I just feel like I feel like he ain't been improving since Mayweather dad left, but Mayweather kinda put some light on that in the interview he had on uh with with Cameron and Mace when he said his daddy health not is getting like Rogers. I knew it had to have been a, a, a real reason for Devin and Mr. and Floyd Senior not to be working together no more. They had too good of a working relationship and it didn't look to me like Devin's father and Floyd Sr. had no problems. It seemed like everything was good in the gym. To me, that's why I looked from where I was looking at. Uh, I've heard rumors, but I, you know, that don't, you know, people say all kind of stuff. The fighter trainer thing, like it was working. To me, you know, only thing I, th I felt like was awkward was Bill being in the ring with him doing the fights. And I think as Devin move up the ladder and start fighting these bigger fighters, Bill might need to just be. And give and just take a step back and let some let let the, let the people the right people be in the corner with him when he in these big fights with these good fighters. If not, he gonna find himself in this position that he was in with Ryan Garcia again. It ain't gonna be long because once again, I don't think they can go no more than another two fights and they gonna have to see Antoine Russell and and he coming. But uh, that's it for me on this video. If you like the video, hit the like and subscribe to the next energy man spill dog. I'm out.